Welcome everybody to this PCB Investigator scripting tutorial showing how to use the script engine of PCB Investigator to automate simple processes with a small c -sharp script. First we go to the Extras tab page and open the script engine. What we want to do in this tutorial is to write a script which highlights ground and power pins of the different components in a different color. So we, here we see the existing scripts already, the local scripts. We can also go to the web tab page here, which shows all existing scripts on our web server. Um, by clicking on one of those, you see example source code, which can be used in your own um, script. And you can also copy or download the script and modify it and use it in your way. But we want to start a very new script. We have an uh, asynchronous script or a synchronous script. The asynchronous script is running in the background and the synchronous script is doing a task in the foreground and this is a task which is running once and finishes uh, finishing afterwards. So we start with a new synchronous script in that case and we call it just highlight pins. Okay, so we see the constructor here and the execute method. The execute method is called by PCB Investigator um, when the script is started. So what we want to do is, first of all, I check if the parent is null and then just return so this doesn't work, but should not should not be the case. So then we want to get the data step. And the data step we can get by calling the method parent dot get current step. If the step is null, we can't work and we return. So this might be the case if no design is opened. Okay, so now we define a string list. Um, giving us all the ground names. And the second one giving us all the power names. And we add a few predefined names here. For example, for ground names, uh, we add GND and another one calling ground and for the power names we add uh, for example VCC and let's say a 3 voltage net and maybe also a 5 voltage net Okay, so we predefined a few names of nets as we want to highlight. And now we iterate through all the components. We can do this by for each loop, for each, and the component object is called I component object. We call it CMP in our step, and in the step we get get all CMP objects there's of course a documentation about all our, um, our all our API functions you can go to the help menu here and can get an overview about all existing functions here but I know that it is called get all component objects so we can start working with this component if I want to do the highlighting only for components with two pins, I can get the pin list of this component and just ask for the count if it is zero, uh, not zero, two. And only in this case I want to do something. So now we le let's, we can get the pin list pin list is the component dot get pin list and now we 
define just two variables, just to bool. Let's say power found is false and ground found is false. And now we iterate through the different pins for each I pin pin in the pin list. So uh, now we have to define a function to find out if the pin name has um, has the net name. The, the net name on the pin is one of the ground names or one of the power names. Uh, therefore, I define a special function. Let's say private bool, which has starts with, or let's yeah starts with string and as the first parameter I get my string list and the second parameter is the item I want to check. So for each string s in list If and we can also do a two lower here, then contains s to lower return true and the else return false. So with this function, we can check whether our item contains one of the names in the list. Okay, so if uh, we did not found the ground yet and and our net name, the net name we can get by pin dot get net name on ipin for this component then of course we found a ground pin and we can set a certain color and this can be done by pin dot set pin color and let's just define the red color for the ground pins and the second parameter is the component itself so then we do the same for the power pins so if power not found power found and here the power names in that case we give a different color let's say we give uh, just blue okay so this looks good uh, if you already found both we can break the loop so if G and D found and power found we can just break yeah and in addition to giving the color to the to the pins we can also color the whole component and let's say we give it a certain color if ground and power is on the same component so we say if gnt found and power found then we give a color to the component itself and this can be done by component dot object color is color dot let's say for a screen okay so let's just save the script and compile it okay so we have an error here oh yes I forgot I forgot um, this one I 
got a bracket here. And here also. But now, now it builds. Okay, so let's test it. I just opened one of my recent designs. Activate the component layer. And now if I run that script, my components and my pins get highlighted. So for example here, the red one is the ground pin. The blue one is the power pin and because the C3 component has both colors or has a ground and the power pin, the component itself gets green. So with this script it's very easy to identify power and ground pins and also the components which have both of those nets connected. So if this is a script we want to use more often, we can define it, define it as a favorite script. This can easily be done by right click on our script and say add to favorite. We can give it a name and we can also select an icon. Um, I give this color icon here and say add so it is marked as a highlighted as a, as a favorite script now. And if I close this dialog and go to my extras tab again and refresh or reload this favorite list, my highlight pins script is here. I can also change the view style to large icons for example and if the list is not uh, has not the correct width I can go to customize and customize my ribbon menu. I go to the access tab and the scripting tab and give the script favorites a broader width and in this case I have both icons next to each other and now if I open the design again I can easily say I want to activate this script and all my pins, all my power pins are highlighted, all my ground pins are highlighted and the components are highlighted which have both of the nets. So as you see it's very easy to do your own scripts and to automate simple tasks. Thanks for watching this tutorial and for more information please visit our website www.pcbinvestigator.com Thank you.